Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Guess what today is? It's National Pajama Day. Well, it's National Coffee <laughs> and Pajama Day. So I'll walk Hudson. Other than that, I'm not going to leave the house until class tonight. So I've got all day to just kind of hang out in my fun jammies and not get dressed. So today we're going to put an embellishment on our uh, altered book. I love things hanging off the book and I would do this uh, without you but I thought why would I do it without you when I can bring you along. So I've been playing since dark o'clock. The sun is up now. It looks pretty nice. There's some, some blue sky. But I took my altered book and I poked a hole in one of the pages. Let me get this a little closer see how this works. So, oh, there we go. I poked a hole, put a grommet in, used some coffee stained cotton fabric, and then, it's always a mirror image here, um, I made this little bottle with a label on it, dipped it in some wax, and tied it onto the book. So uh, let's hop to the table, shall we? See you on the table, because I know you guys have been feverishly working on your altered books and we're going to add a little tag or tassel or embellishment really it's not either one of those but it is an embellishment we're going to add an embellishment to our book and I just wanted to talk to you about that you're going to need scissors an old book page a tiny bottle a cork that fits in the tiny bottle an eye hook very tiny eye hook, a tiny grommet, and your crocodile too. All right, that's what I have on the desk with me. In the outside studio, which is actually Handsome Hubby's studio, uh, I have some wax, some beeswax heating up. So when we get to that point, um, I don't know if I'm going to take the camera out there or if I'm going to bring the wax in here. We shall see. All right, what we're going to do first is just take this old book page and just cut tiny strips. If you have some tiny strips laying around from your underpants, that's great. That's what you're going to use. I just thought we would go through the whole process together. So I'm just going to make some strips like this. And then when I feel like I have enough, I'm going to cut them into smaller pieces and I'm going to put them in that little bottle. And just snip those in half so that they're even smaller. And you're going to take those words and that yummy map, underpants, and just put them in your little bottle. While I was putting all of these little bits and pieces of uh, paper in that little jar, isn't that great? I thought, well, maybe we ought to just put a little label on that little bottle. So I just stamped a piece of the um, page, like this extra page, extra piece here, the white piece. I just took a piece of that and stamped the word create on it. I'm going to just put some Mod Podge on my finger nothing fancy here. This is why we have fingers is to get them all gooey. And I'm just going to put that label on that little bottle. So cute. Make sure all that little edges are down. And then I'll go with my paper towel and clean that bottle up so there's not any excess on there. Very cute. All right, now I'm going to take my stopper and put my stopper in. While that dries, I'm going to grab my book and choose a page. I'm going to choose this very first page. Do I want it on? 
Maybe I want it on the cover. Let's do it on the cover, shall we? All right, so I'm going to grab my crocodile too. I'm going to put it to the smallest hole. I do have a tutorial on how to use the crocodile too. So if you don't know how to do that, I'll put the link in the notes under this one. Oh yeah, I bet that's too thick for my little one. Yeah, we better go to this one. All right, and I'm just going to pop a hole right there. And I am going to take my little grommet and put it in that hole. All right, the grommet's in place. My crocodile is set to the installation side. Put that in there and give it a squeeze, see what happens. And we have a grommet installed. I'm just going to take an old piece of coffee stained fabric. It's just cotton, nothing fancy. And I'm going to loop this actually through the back so that I have the knot on the front. See if I can push that through that grommet. Yes. And then I'm just going to knot it here so that it doesn't pull back through that grommet. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I have a frying pan full of uh, beeswax out in the outdoor studio. So what I did is I just grabbed a tuna fish can with some, and then I just grabbed some wax, stuck it in there. It's very hot, but I got it back to my studio. So that's what's in there. I'm putting this little eye hook in the cork goes in pretty easily once you get it started. So cute. And I am going to dip it to about right about that lip. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, you so know that I want to stabilize the edge of that. Create. <laughs> I may. Who knows? All right, you're going to need to take something sharp, clean that little hole out, and it is ready to attach to our book. Isn't that fun? Push that piece of coffee stained fabric through there. Tie a knot. <laughs> and ta da! Another dangle on the book. So fun. All right. I'm going to stabilize that edge. Cool. So I grunged it up. My Create label. So fun. Dipped in the wax. I love the way it gives it that old uh, sealed look. Very fun. An old piece of coffee stained, coffee stained, sorry, coffee stained cotton, I'm sure. Grab it in your book. Bum, 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 bum. All right, go create, <laughs> go play, go have fun. I'll see you very soon.